the only way to not age is to actually die sorry Hello hello my name is Nipun and welcome to my channel today we are talking about creating an anti-aging skincare routine but before we begin let me set the record right you can't really not age aging is a natural process the only way you will avoid aging is if you die and we'll not get into that but <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me. I just wanted to introduce myself. If you're new to my channel, I'm a skincare enthusiast, not a dermatologist, not an esthetician, a regular person who's been on a skincare journey for the last couple of years. And I'm here as your skincare bestie to give you advice, to listen to you and basically help you figure out your own path in the skincare world. So let's get started with an anti-aging skincare routine. Before we begin, there are two things that you should know. One is what is your skin type and 90% of the people don't know their skin type. I have a really short video. It's a minute and a half. Please go ahead and check that out. It will really help you identify your correct skin type. And the second thing you should know is how do you create a basic skincare routine because that is also extremely important. Skincare can be extremely, extremely overwhelming. So I have these two videos. They'll be linked somewhere here. Go ahead, check them out after you see this video. All right, so let's get started. What is special about an anti-aging routine, which is different from a routine, say, for a teenager or for a routine when you're in your 20s? And the key difference really is a few ingredients that become more important or they become more useful or you need them more, uh, especially as you age, because as we age, from the age of 25, we start to lose collagen in our body naturally, and that kind of impacts the way our skin looks. In addition to that, there are a host of other problems that can come. You can have hyperpigmentation, melasma, wrinkles, fine lines, all of those things. Before you start an anti-aging skincare routine, you need to first figure out what is the concern. What is your goal? What is it that you want to correct? What is it that you want to improve? Because trust me, there are just so many products in the market that if you try and do everything, you'll just end up damaging your skin. So you need to start with one concern and that should be your main goal. Improve on that, move on to the next because skincare is a marathon. So let's go over the basics of an AM skincare routine for anti-aging. So in your AM skincare routine, definitely you should use a cleanser. A cleanser should be hydrating because as we age, we tend to, our skin tends to get a bit dry. So using a hydrating cleanser is a fantastic option. Then you should definitely add an antioxidant like vitamin C. Now vitamin C is brilliant. It has so many benefits. Number one and the most important is if you're using the purest form of vitamin C, for instance, L-ascorbic acid, it can actually boost the production of collagen in your body and that kind of helps aging, wrinkles and other things. If you're using other stabilized forms of vitamin C, for instance, ascorbyl phosphate or ethyl ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid in general, it may not boost the production of collagen, but it will still give you brightness. It will help your dark spots. It just makes your skin look really, really good. And I have an upcoming video on how do you choose the right vitamin C serum. But until then, just know that you should add a vitamin C serum to your AM skincare routine after you cleanse. And then you go in with a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Sunscreen being the most important. So literally, if you have oily skin, skip the moisturizer, just go in with the sunscreen. But the sunscreen is critical. I'm 36 years old. I did not start using a sunscreen regularly until I was 32 because in my mind, I was conditioned that I would use a sunscreen if I'm going to a beach for some strange reason. And I don't go to the beach very often. Uh, so I basically didn't use a sunscreen for a very, very long time. But when I did, and believe you me, my skin in six months transformed in the sense my open pores had shrunk my skin was brighter my morning redness had disappeared my skin was just good in every way so sunscreen is super important because the sun causes more than 60 70 percent of all aging and uh, and damage to the skin so you need to protect your skin 
And here I want to talk about a very important point, which is something that I got, get asked by women a lot, that if I'm indoors at home or if I'm just working in an office environment, do I still need sunscreen? Yes, you do, darling, because the sun rays, UVB, specially can penetrate through windows and glass windows, and which means that it can still you know, reflect onto your skin, it can still cause damage. So protect yourself, use a sunscreen. So to wrap it up really quickly, a morning skincare routine would be really simple. You would, your three main layers would be cleanser, vitamin C, sunscreen. Now in the middle, you can, if you have dry skin like I do, like I'm crusty, crusty dry, if I don't take care of my skin, you can definitely add a hyaluronic acid serum before you apply your vitamin C. It is beautiful, apply it on damp skin, you will thank me if you haven't started using a hyaluronic acid if you're a girl who has or a man who has dry skin try it out it's life-changing so basic routine would be three things cleanser vitamin c sunscreen now you can add layers so you can definitely add uh, a hyaluronic acid if you like you can definitely use a moisturizer if you're dry or just directly use your sunscreen that is your am skincare routine now let's look at the pm when it comes to the PM skincare routine, and this is especially great because now is your opportunity to include actives or a brilliant ingredient like retinol. But what I would advise you is don't start with everything together. Like just don't. I know you want to buy every serum that gets launched. Resist the urge because you will, your skin will thank you for it. In the PM skincare routine, whether it's for anti-aging or in general, whatever be your age, do double cleanse. Double cleansing is the process where we use first an oil-based cleansing balm or an oil on dry face, get rid of the makeup, get rid of the sunscreen, then go in with a second cleanse with a regular cleanser. So that would really always be your first foundation step. You need a clean canvas to get started. Thereafter, if you're dry, hyaluronic acid serum would be your best friend. Now, if you're above the age of 25, uh, and you're a woman who's not pregnant or nursing, you can definitely get started with a retinol-based cream. And yes, I'm talking of a retinol-based cream. I'm not talking about the ordinary retinol serum. They have quite a few versions, but I don't recommend it because in my experience and to everyone who I've advised this and to my own personal skin, it was super, super harsh. When you're a beginner and you're starting retinol, you need to start with something very gentle. And today we have retinol-based creams. Olay Regenerous 24 is a great option. ROC Max Hydration, Neutrogena uh, also has a retinol-based creams. They are very, very gentle. They are beginner friendly. So one or two times a week, start using a retinol-based cream and then you can sort of build your way up, start using it every other day. And that would be great. After that, you use your moisturizer. Wait for 30 minutes because ideally, after applying your skincare, you should have hit the bed because then all of your creams and lotions get absorbed on your pillowcase and not into your skin. So that would be a simple, simple routine. Now, if you are a user of retinol, what you can use in addition to hyaluronic acid would be niacinamide because retinol and niacinamide are best, best friends. And that is a simple, simple way of layering your PM skincare routine. In addition to that, one or two times a week, depending on your skin type, you can use a chemical exfoliant that matches your skin type. So an AHA or a BHA that works for your skin, for instance, a lactic acid, glycolic acid or a beta hydroxy acid. Choose an exfoliant based on your skin type and your skin concern. And I do have a full length video on how you can choose the right chemical exfoliant for your skin. So yeah, go check that out as well. So this is a simple way of creating an anti-aging skincare routine. The only thing that is different here from other routines is the ingredients that we're talking about. So in an anti-aging routine, we're really talking about adding a vitamin C serum that's an amazing antioxidant. We're talking about adding retinol that will boost your skin cell turnover, that will actually help you get rid of, of a lot of dead skin. It kind of the way it, retinol works, and I will do a full length video, it will really boost 
the turnover of your skin cells and that itself improves the elasticity of your skin making it look younger so it doesn't really do any other kind of magic but it gives the appearance of skin looking much younger so these are some options that you can explore obviously you can have a crazy crazy routine and if you want to see like 14 steps 15 steps hit me up on tiktok that's where i post morning evening routines you can go check it out you can also follow me on instagram because there's a lot of stuff that i'm posting there i hope i could be of help in helping you create an anti-aging routine we will go into more depths of various toners essences serums in the upcoming videos but for now this is a basic routine that you can get started with thank you so much for watching before you leave remember to hit the like button if you like this video and if you do like my content subscribe to the channel or do neither i am just so happy that you're watching me today have a good one